What it do, peeps? I'm here in downtown. I guess everything is downtown. <laughs> downtown Fayetteville. It's very um quaint. Look, let me show you what I'm talking about. Look at this. It's very quaint. Very in a movie. Very out of a book. You know what I mean? Something you see on like Cinemax <laughs> in the 90s. Anyway. This restaurant, it's called Antonella's. It's an Italian restaurant. I don't know if it's gonna to top the Italian food I had in New York, because the Italian food I had in New York was bellissimo, but there's only one way to find out. So you and I have a little partying to do, a little Italian party. Let's go check out Antonella's and see what it's all about. Come on, y'all. So here it's fine? Yes, sir. Cool, I'll sit here. All right, we got a little alfresco seating. And I'm gonna have to be very careful about um, what I say and how I say it, seeing as though um, there are people around and I can be heard. Okay, all right, let's see. Do we have cocktail menu? No. Um, this is wine, what is this? Oh, it's all wine. I don't see a cocktail. I'm looking. Lord knows I'm looking. Start. And the crazy part is I'm already microdosed, right? So it's like, do we really need cocktails? But the answer is gonna be yes. You have a cocktail menu? Um, yes, sir. I'll okay, it. thanks. And so there you go. So the answer is yes to a cocktail menu. I mean, I guess we could look at that. I got the food in front of me, so. Okay, they've got shrimp scampi. One of we should ask if it's deveined. Mussels with marinara, white wine sauce. You know what, you not like mussels. Do you know that about me? I think we had that conversation before. Baked lasagna dip. Cute. Fried calamari, tomato bruschetta, mozzarella caprese, uh, baked meatballs. Two, two meatballs cut in half, top of the house tomato sauce, mozzarella cheese, then baked to perfection. There's an ensalada, there's Greek, blue cheese wedge, spinach berry, and a signature house Italian. I'm like, am I feeling salad today? I don't know. I went that one, to that one place, they have the best salad. It was um, in New York. I forget where I was. Someone I can't pronounce. Pierre Lotti, that's what it was. Pierre Lotti, and I had the absolute best like tomato and cucumber -y thingy. It was amazing. All right, they've got additional sides. Penne Pomodoro, Penne Alfredo, um, spaghetti with garlic and olive oil, soup of the day, garlic parmesan uh, fries, and then sauteed spinach. Then they have an Italian mild link sausage topped with our signature house marinara sauce. Okay, and then there's lasagna. Uh, Fra Diavolo, Penne al Forno with meat sauce, Penne la Crema, comes with mushrooms though. Spaghetti with meat and, uh, and a meatball and meat sauce, spaghetti Siciliano, grape tomatoes, calamata olives, basil, spinach, feta cheese. Okay, all the good things. There's a Penne Alfredo, a ravioli portobello, a tortellini primavera, blue crab ravioli, oh yeah. And then they have gluten-free for you people with celiacs, okay? On signatures, they got an osso buco, a chicken la Giovanni, which is thin chicken breast layered with egg, or ham, edibles. Okay, I microdose. Ham, eggplant, I couldn't get them two words together. Okay, mozzarella, cheese, sauteed with minced onions, fresh mushrooms, and a delicate sauce. There's chicken parmesan. There is a chicken taio, I can't pronounce this. T A O R M I N A. Tayormina. Tayormina? I don't know. But it's um, thin chicken breast, lightly floured, sauteed with the lemon rosemary sauce with fresh mushrooms, and your choice of two sides. 
I guess this is the Italian version of the meat with two sides, okay? And eggplant parmesan. Then they've got seafood specialties, which is a fruity di mar, or mare. It's Italian, right? Mare. No, my Italian is no good. There's a salmon with uh, seared in lemon garlic sauce with herbs over a bed of spinach. There's a flounder and shrimp santorini, which is flounder laid over a bed of penne pasta with a signature creamy scampi sauce. I bet that's delicious. Salmon and shrimp Mediterranean. There's a grouper frances, francese, francese, Frances, I don't know, francese, French, I don't know. It's grouper, lightly floured, pan fried, then sauteed in a lemon white wine sauce with minced onions and fresh mushrooms. And there's dinner sides, penne pomodoro, sauteed spinach, Italian salad, string beans, vegan stuff, drinks, and desserts. Okay. There you have it, there is the menu. Let's get a cocktail menu and let's place an order. All right, I went and got to um, use the restroom. I'm still waiting on the, um, the drink menu. I need a straw. They got bread. And a little, a little, um, what do you call it? Olive oil vinegar situation. They're busy. I like this. Look at this. It's like a um it's like a season thing. Let me show you. Look. See? It's like a little season situation. No, I'm good. I just no no I'm good. Uh oatmeal over there. Yeah, probably, yeah, yeah. Well you know, I'm fine here. Honestly, yeah, I'm good. I just need the drink menu. But this is perfect, I'm good. Yeah, this is good. I'm good here. So nice of them. It's good. Yes. Vinegar and oil. Not really. Don't go too wrong with that. Okay. As soon as this cocktail menu get over here, we can go through it, all right? Give me a second. Yes, literally, thank you. Literally a second. Okay. Okay, cocktails. Oh, wait. Martinis. Mango martini, rosemary pear, lemon drop, Cafe Romano, which is like a uh, espresso, limoncello spritz, raspberry lemonade. Then they've had other cocktails. The Godfather, which is Grand Marnier Amaretto. Fresh lime juice. Bitters and cherry orange garnish. There's a sidecar. A Sicilian Old Fashioned. A fresh basil lemonade that has vodka. And a sangria. So I think... But there's a Parisian margarita that has tequila blanco, it has Saint Germain agave nectar and lime. There's a Portofino paradise that has pineapple syrup, lime juice and, and ginger beer. There's a Amalfi breeze, which is gin and grapefruit. There's a Luna vintage somebody's with pineapple and cream of coconut. And there's a Mezza Luna mule. Yeah, wow. Okay, so the Parisian margarita and then this rosemary pear looks like it's got my name written all over it, so. Whenever we get a server, we'll place a little bit of an order and go from there, all right? Fine. Oh, no, you're fine. You all can right. always interrupt me. All right. Um, we take care of you today. What's your name? Alex. Alex, perfect. And then, um, did they go over the special with you? When they no. Up? All right, so our special is gonna be a braised short rib stuffed ravioli and a bolognese sauce with peas and onions. They have an appetizer with uh, stuffed shrimp. It's blue crab stuffed shrimp with a butter wine, a butter garlic sauce. Got it. All right. Can I get you started with something? Yes. Um, let's start with the Parisian margarita. Okay. And then I'm going to take both the appetizer you just said. The shrimp? Yeah. Um, but also, can you add on... What sauce is it you said? Tell me the sauce one more time. Butter, butter garlic sauce. So Quite same like the same sauce, as the is it the same as the shrimp scampi sauce? Similar. Yeah. Okay. Similar. Cool. 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 All right. So I'll take the one you have. Also, can I do the calamari? 
Bell, you want to do the sweet and spicy or the regular? Usually I like to tell people to go for the sweet and spicy because it's a good sauce and we can even put it on the side. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's fine, yep. And then I'll also do the baked lasagna dip. You're doing it right. Yeah, we'll go with that. And then um, we'll start with that. All right. Okay, thanks, Alex. Absolutely. All right, that is um, the appetizer order, so it's placed. Let's see what it's hitting on. All right, cocktails here. What I've got, I forgot what I ordered. Oh, the Parisian margarita. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't taste Parisian. <laughs> tastes like a margarita. A good one at that. All right, up next, it's a five out of five, it's good. Clean, crisp, ain't the best, but it's a good one. We've had some that's like 17. This is a five. It's good. You're going to drink this. You're going to be like, yep, this is good. I like it. There we have it, all right? Now, check out this food. Where do you like this, sir? Wherever you want to put it. Wherever you find the spot, doesn't matter. And then I'm coming out with your stuff strip right now. Perfect. Thank you. All right, let's do a little reorganization here. I'm having a conversation. I'm having a conversation that I'm going to talk about later on live about Sonny Anderson. Thank you. Can I try the pear martini, please? Yeah. Pear martini, yes, sir. The tea is hot, honey. Girl, the tea is hot. All right, let me show you what I got. Okay, come on, let me show you this, because I'm over here being messy. All right, this is the fried calamari. All right, this is the shrimp. And then this is the baked lasagna dip. All right, that's why I hate sitting outside, though. The flies starting to fly around a little bit. You know what I'm saying? They smell the calamari. You're going to have to come do something with this. Let me see. Mm, it's all right. With the um, marinara, she's all right. Very take it or leave it. You ain't gotta have that one. Let me see this sweet and sour glaze you talking about. Nobody think it is, right? Girl, top chili sauce. She all right. Middle of the road, two and a half out of five. It's not horrible, but it's also not amazing. Okay. Okay, let me try the shrimp. He can pack this up. The shrimp. This breading on top looks a little hard. Let me show you. All right. See that? It's like, it's like tough. I mean, you know, it might be the best thing I've ever had. I see how that. Well, it's pretty good. That ain't the best. It's cute. Almost reminds you of cornbread dressing a little bit. It's cute. Hey, hey, hey. These flies, all right? We come back and take this up out of here. These flies are gonna take me up out of here, all right? Yeah. Nope, nothing wrong with that. The sauce saves it. By itself, um, the sauce in here is gorgeous. Lemony, white winey, buttery, herby, and a little bit more white wine than what you're used to, which, I, which is what I like about it. Almost intentional on the white wine. Like, we want to put more in here, okay? We want you to get a little lifted. We want you to taste the Chardonnay or the Sauvignon Blanc. But you can definitely taste it. In there. Okay, so ratings. Calamari like two out of five. This is like a four. Out of five. Let me try the lasagna dip and let me see what I think about the lasagna dip. Oh, here she comes. Miss, I had to go take a shower. Here she comes. Okay. 
No, I'm recording. I'm not live. The the woman of the hour is here. <laughs> First lady has made her um her arrival. First lady. Help yourself. Uh, stuffed shrimp, calamari, and I'm trying the lasagna dip. Okay, I never had the lasagna dip, and I never had the stuffed shrimp. Okay, try it and tell me what you think. I mean, it's fine. It's not bad. I'm not sure if I'm falling out of my seat, though, going, oh, my God. <laughs> it's absolutely amazing. No, it's good. Don't get me wrong. It is good. But you can make this at home. And you go, Darius, I already know how to cook. Make lasagna dip how you think you make lasagna dip, and it'll be better than this. <laughs> Hold on, let's see. What do we think? Alright, I got the Persian margarita working, or the um, the other one working right yep. now. Yep. And then the rosemary pear, and then, ma'am, can I get you a drink? Water. Water. I don't care for the stuffing. You don't care for the stuffing? What's wrong with it? What you don't like about it? It's not giving me anything. Run it through the sauce. And then tell me if you if you change your mind. They made it better. Oh, okay. Taste the wine. Yeah, the wine is really prominent, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. The wine is whining. The wine is whining. Yeah, mm -hmm. we agree with that. But yeah. it's a rating, so scale one to five. One being horrible, five being amazing. Three. Three. All right, I gave it a, uh, what did I say? I gave it a four, she gave it a three. See what I'm saying? Calamari? Yeah, it's tough. And it's like the stuffing was made yesterday, stuffed yesterday, held over. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't taste like they just put it on that today. So, you like calamari? You've had it before? Help yourself, I'm not eating any of this. Okay, that's good. Well, you got two sauces to try. Okay. The sweet sauce. <laughs> and then the marinara, the gravy. So what do you think of our lovely downtown? It's a downtown, child. It's downtown. It's a downtown. <laughs> I don't know how much town is down, but it's here. It's here. That's all you're getting. It's free. That's it. Welcome to Fayetteville. I'm here. I see. Yeah. I like that sauce. Okay, the sauce you like. Mm -hmm. Cool. And the gravy. I'm a sweet heat girl, so I definitely. So, okay, so you like that one. Okay. And is this like a marinara? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I said. Middle of the road is what I said. It's like it's not it's not you know, a hundred percent amazing. It's not a hundred percent bad. It's just kind of like middle of the road. And then there's a the lasagna dip. Okay. They have good cocktails. This I had the um. Do you drink? You drink? I'm not much of a drink. You're not? Really? I didn't know that. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Really? Okay, well, I'll do it for you. What was good, though? <laughs> okay, then. Okay, see, I had the um, Parisian margarita. I'm about to try the rosemary, uh, the pear rosemary martini and see if I like that. Mm -hmm. What was different? You said, you said that was different. What was different? Somebody else said that. I said that was different? Yes. There was nobody else. There was, you came out your mouth. I thought one of Roll the tape back, America. Roll the tape back. Maybe I was thinking about something else. I don't know. Were you? Were you? Yeah. Um, the dip, what you thinking? Come on, Judy. World traveler. 
do? It's just regular. Mm -hmm. That's what I said. Yeah. I said the same thing. Like you're you you're, like you're saying the same thing I said. What I was just saying, I said if you try to make lasagna dip, like you think you're making lasagna dip, and then taste it, boom. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be that. That's it. Yeah, that's what we said. Alright, so rate it. Three uh one out of five. Lasagna dip. Honest. Three. three. There you go. Okay. What All right. I gave it a two. Okay. Yeah, two out of five. I mean, it's middle of the road. It's not, I mean, yeah. two and a half. It's, it's not horrible. It's not amazing. It's just very middle of the road. Okay. I see what I, I see, you know. Well, a little bit more robustness would make it amazing. It's just basic mm -hmm. right now. It's not, it's not exciting. There's no party. It's a cute concept, but it's just, it's regular. And that's it. And that's fine. Regular is cool. But, you know, sometimes you want a little bit more like, je ne sais quoi, a little bit more creativity, a little bit more something. And it doesn't have it. So it is what it is. There you have it. Okay. We're going to have private conversation without the camera going. He's going to come back and then we'll have this stuff put away because these flies are getting on my nerve. And then we'll place an order for some entrees. All right. Matter of fact, here he comes right now. Can you box all this up, please? Yeah, no worries. And get rid of these damn flies. Sorry about that. You don't have one of those, those things on the table that spin around? He does have one. God, we need it. Well, now if you want to put it right here, you should. You should. Matter of fact, I'm gonna order one tonight because I'm going to Belize Wednesday. What you going to Belize for? I need a break. I've been wrong. Like this, this, this last week or two, been like boom, boom, boom. So I'm just, just gone. That's amazing. Um, Belize. Yeah, so I've never been. You going to um, what's the K or something? Key or something? I don't know where I'm going. Belize City. Mhm. Mm but it's tough in Belize City. Are you still in Belize City? Or you going to uh, Ambergris Key? That's what it's called. Okay, over there. Over there. Over there. You going over there? Cause you land in you land in Belize City, right? But yeah. staying in Belize City, they saying ain't ain't the best. Right, right, right. So you take a little forty-five minute uh, flight ferry or something. Or you can yeah. So they have a ferry. So what I decided was um, one of my girlfriends saw it on TikTok, and it was like this this woman that said. She went for three days, you know, and showed the stuff she did. I said, well, let's do that. Okay, the special entree is what now? It is going to be a braised ribs, uh, stuffed ravioli, and a portobello. And yeah. A, and a yeah. bolognese sauce. Yeah, add, yeah that's fine. Yeah, let's add that. Okay. Let's do that. Why don't we do the... Fra, fra Diavolo? Fra Diavolo. Yeah, that. Diabolo, Diabolo, uh, whatever. Shrimp. Um, this. You get a side with that as well. We get a side with that. Yeah. We do uh, green beans, sauteed spinach. We do Parmesan garlic fries, penne alfredo, penne pomodoro. Penne alfredo. Can we do the the spaghetti siciliana? Any protein on that? You know what? No protein needed on that actually. Okay. And then uh, super salad with that. What's the soup? It's a lentil soup. A stripe. Um. Also, um, why don't we do the grouper franchise? Grouper franchise. Yeah, that. Two sides with that. String beans and sautéed spinach. And I think that's plenty. That's enough for us to figure out what's going on around here. We take all these Y'all menus and whatnot. Going we do. That's where it's at, though. And I don't need any more to drink. Both of these were out fucking standing. Good to know. Good to know. I Tell your bartender, amazing job. I will. Thank you very much. And then some new forks and whatnot whenever you get a second, all right? All right. That's the order, please. Bitch, I'm fucking drunk as shit. You understand me? I'm talking about... Girl, it just hit me out of nowhere. You just call me Stephanie Mills, okay? Because I feel good. I feel good all over. Okay, I'm gonna finish talking. We talking about some behind the scenes stuff. You can't hear about this. It stay at the table, okay? This how stuff get out. See Tay and 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 Marion, though they put stuff online. You see what I'm saying? We're not doing that. We're gonna sit at the table and talk and cut the camera off, okay? 
With that being said, we'll be right back. Bye. Okay, wait. The, the fraud the Avala does not come with the choice of whatever side, it's just a choice of super salad. Um, and the soup you was, got the soup. It's yeah. Soup. Okay, you can, can you just upcharge it to like the vegetables or something? No, you want to upcharge to get the penny off? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that and the, the green beans, that's fine. So we can taste them, yeah. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, whatever you gotta do. All right, so the whatever doesn't come with something and we just reordered it for something else, okay? You heard, tried to get it on while he was talking, but he came and talked too fast. He kind of cute. He kind of cute though, a little bit. He's a poor white guy. Okay. Am I that drunk? I'm not that. I'm not that tipsy. He's, he look funny. Like you think so? Yeah, he look funny. Like okay. <laughs> I'll be back when the food get here. We we talking about stuff. I can't let y'all hear this. Goodbye. Right, the lentil soup is in front of me. Look at this. All right. There is the lentil soup. How you doing? And I don't know if the um this little town boy y'all ain't got but. Four residents in this little town. Four places to go because if, oh, yeah. everybody spot me out here, okay? Let me see if I like this. Lentil soup. Let me see. I look high and drunk, don't I? Girl, I know. Ask me how I feel. Like Stephanie Mills. Sweet things you say to me. Oh, it's all right. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know how to say that. I just call it the second one. You know what it tastes like? Okay, second bottle. We'll go with that. Split pea soup. All right. Thank you, sir. Oh, the bottle of It's seasoned. Can I stretch y'all off? I was going to say, I'll take it. It's not for me. Yeah, not the right home about. I love that. <laughs> it's not for me. <laughs> it might be for you, but <laughs> it's not for me. Okay, when the rest of the food come, I'll come back, okay? Goodbye. You just put it down. Actually, yeah, you can take that away. We actually don't need that. Thank you. This right here is going to be our braised short rib stuffed ravioli. Our Bra special tonight. Braised short rib ravioli. This right here is a shrimp fried diavolo. Fried, okay. Fried diavolo, and this will be our spaghetti siciliana. We're just winning on our group for right now. Okay. He, he, I don't know. He must be busy. We need side plates and um another setting. Um, Which one is better? Uh... Well, it's up to you. If you come before we open, I'll have time. Right, so that's why. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And if you want to go to like, Darius, what a good food at. Mm -hmm. I can take you around. Well, you go in December. Well, like the end of December. yeah, like Jan 1, Jan 1, like New Year's. Okay. I'm going to Puerto Rico. When, again? Yeah, one of my friends want to go for, two of my friends want to go for their birthday. Birthday the same, around the same time. They want to go. I was like, okay, fine. Have you been back since we've been? Nope. Mm -mm. Me neither. No. I was like, okay, you know, fine by me. And yeah, one of my friends husband is from there, so it's just like, you know. Yeah, the food's great. Um, I went to this one place on Sunday, Pinones. I did go on a cruise, and I ended up going over to that barbecue joint we went to. Bebos. Yeah. Yeah. Bebos. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I think I'm gonna be, I want to go out there like Jan 1. If I could be honest with you, kind of what I want to do. Um, okay, let me show you the grouper, the fried grouper that he just put in front of the camera. <laughs> Yeah, then I'll have time to hang. Yeah. Okay. If you do that, um, I'll probably plan for the end of January. You see, you gonna be there? Yeah. So I'll plan for the end of January. Help yourself. Knock yourself out. I'm taking a bite. You know, my sleeve ain't ain't the best. Right. All right. This is the short rib ravioli. Oh, we gonna do it together? Come on, let's do it together. Short rib ravioli. I never had a short rib ravioli. Well. What are you thinking? I don't wanna skew your opinion. What are you thinking?
Uh huh. That's what it tastes like. Scale of one to five. <laughs> two. Two. <laughs> why a two? And why not a four or five? It didn't wow me. When you think of tonight's special, you think of, you know, it's going to wow me. Honey, I am in agreement. I'm not wild. It's all right. Are you on the right home about? Mm -mm. Let's try the, the fish, the grouper. I'm gonna bring it over to you. You like mushrooms? I hate mushrooms. Absolutely a bore. <laughs> How are you? I made it to Fayetteville, man. I'm here. So far, so good. I've had the best time. Uh, I just cooked live yesterday, two days ago. Yeah, man, you got to keep up. Every week I'm on there. But once the holidays hit, you know, it comes a lot more often. Okay. Yeah. So give me a little bit and you'll see me on there about every day. You're going to tired of me. Okay. Thank you for following. I appreciate it, man. Uh, how did everything come out over here for us? So far, so good. All right, that's good. Yep, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Grouper. We like it. What do we like about it? Number one is hot. Uh-huh, it's hot. Mm -hmm. It's pretty fresh. Okay. Fresh. It's meaty. Uh-huh. It could use a little bit more flavor, mm -hmm. but, you know, for what we're doing. Scale of one to five. Four. A four. Like a three out of five for me. It's not the best. It's not the worst. Um, agree with you that it could use a touch of seasoning and love and it's just um, it's basic it's basic yeah I tried it even with the mushroom yeah it's basic it's basic I'm gonna try a little spinach I can't imagine it's gonna send me over the moon <laughs> yeah it's just okay wow mm. okay you're right <laughs> about what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, spinach. spinach. Yeah, spinach is just spinach. Green beans. Yeah, it's like, it's starter food. Like they started up the hill. This is Little Engine That Could Italian food. That's what this is. It's Little Engine That Could. This is not real. All right, let's switch some stuff out. If you can grab this for us, please. And yeah, box it up along with this. Okay. Uh, put it on the side, maybe. And then the grouper, we're done with the grouper as well. Thank you so much. Let's just uh, keep the flies under control. Thank you. Um, it's like little engine that could food. Maybe you roll a green bean through some of this. Try, let's see some of this vinegar and oil situation. Let me see. Did it help? Roll a green bean through there. Just roll one through there. <laughs> I try, y'all. Okay, the fried diavolo, 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 huh? The spaghetti. It looks good, but if we were to look at the trajectory of our meal thus far, 
and make a determination with this um lemon on top of this um red sauce. <laughs> now, I ain't a, I ain't Italian now, but I know you ain't supposed to put the lemon on top of them, not the red sauce. Butter and or in what you say your um what's your sauce called? Your butter sauce. Yeah, your butter supreme. Yeah, maybe something like that, but not with the red sauce. Let me see what this hitting on. I can't imagine too much in there. Mm. Come on, Chef. Huh? It's basic. It's basic. It is basic. Scale of one to five. Two. Or two. <laughs> I'm gonna start using that. <laughs> My friend has one that I love. She says, I don't care for this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're giving this a two. It's just not, I mean, it's basic. Like she said, there's nothing about it that makes you want to sing a song like I gotta go there for or a do a dance. The food is very staccato. Very, let's not do a dance. Very short, very terse, very curt, okay? I absolutely love your vocabulary. Thank you. I'm going to start using big words next week. <laughs> Those words were four-letter words. Kurt. Terse. They sound big to me. They sound big. <laughs> well, we put this college degree to use every once in a while. And this second one that we're working on that's driving me up a wall. <laughs> this The music degree. It's going, child. I, I just, I was you earlier. I said I gotta go practice. When you had, um, I was like, what you doing? I was taking a shower and hit these notes real fast. Do what you got. Uh -huh, I got. I'm a week behind. Oh my goodness. They'll be all right. You want it right or you want it on time? They, they recognize, and I don't know what, what, what made me take, uh, uh, intermediate keyboard and rocket blues keyboard the same goddamn semester. Don't ever do that shit. I don't ever do that. I'm ready to go. The drinks are great. It's, this pasta is going to be so much more. Let me show y'all. I know if I showed y'all this pasta here. This is the pasta she wanted me to show y'all. Judy, how's your um, Florentine Siciliano over there? Is it Siciliani? The presentation. I love the presentation. That's something. Beautiful gowns, huh? Beautiful gowns. Beautiful gowns. That is something, okay? Girl, how does she sound? Beautiful gowns. <laughs> <laughs> how was the food? I love the presentation. How is the baby? Girl, look just like her daddy. <laughs> like that. That's what this food is, like your daddy food. <laughs> Let me see it. No. Okay, this is a skill for seven. Oh, I know. Italian restaurant? No, period. Uh, <laughs> forget different cuisine, just period. God is good. Yeah, okay, y'all, come here for the drinks. Bring your own food. Go to Amazon, get you some meal prep containers. The kind with the lid. And the insert for the dressing on top for your salad. Go get you some Hidden Valley Ranch. Some of that Panera Bread Fuji Apple. And make you a salad and bring that down here. Go get you some Barilla. 
and some Prego with a little piece of brown sugar and butter or something, you know, doctor it up. And bring that with you when you come down here. Get the drink. Bring your own food, all right? It's cute eye candy. That's it. Beautiful gown is what it is. All right. You need something with your about the pasta there. What you think about it? Help yourself. Oh. Yeah. Beautiful gown. Yeah, honey. All right, cool. Thank you. Hey, I got a camera right there. Okay, we're. I don't know. There you go. Thanks. Thank you. And then the rest is you could just um. I don't think we need a. Uh, You mean that we need to box the rest of this up? No, I don't think we do. It's too much power. I think we're good. So we'll just take a, I'll take a check whenever you're ready. Sorry, y'all. He got to be straight. There's no way he's gay. No way. There's no way he's gay. He cannot be gay. He moves like a straight man. He can't organize nothing. Right. He can't put them together. He a dunce. <laughs> He's a, that's a, he gotta be straight. That's a straight man. You know, straight man, they stupid sometimes. Right. <laughs> no disagreements there, huh? Gays are stupid too sometimes. But the straight man, they be, sometimes they be so fucking dumb. Don't think about nothing. All right, y'all. I guess let's let's look at the check. See what the check is. Mm -hmm. Then I guess I'll walk down the street. So I'm already outside. I'll walk down the street, give you my final thoughts. You you about could put two or two together. Bye. Okay, sorry y'all. I was talking, child. Okay, the check then came back. One hundred and ninety-five dollars and ninety-two cents. Let's go over it. The margarita was fourteen fifty. The stuffed shrimp was seventeen ninety-five. The calamari was $17, the lasagna dip was 12, the martini was 10, the special with the ravioli was 24, the fra diavolo is 22, the spaghetti siciliana was 20, the grouper was 29, and the green beans were four, and the side of the Alfredo was 10. So total was 195.92, you know, plus about $40 in tip. So you get the idea. All right, I'll pay for this and then I'll go out, walk down to the core, and then I'll tell you what I threw out. I'll be back. All right, we did it. We just left this restaurant. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna give you. The restaurant for me is a two out of five, just because the drink was good, but the food was a fool. All right, Judy, Chef Judith Cage, what would you give it? I'm with you. I'm. I'm Maybe 2.5. 2.5. Okay, she's giving a 0.5 for the ambiance. Yeah. Uh, never have to come here again. You coming back? Okay, hit it and quit. That's what we did. If you're ever in the, uh, where we at? Fayetteville. Okay. That's where I'm at. You're in Fayetteville. Come on downtown. Ain't but two blocks. Are they downtown? I don't see a skyscraper the first, okay? But they got an Italian restaurant. They need to go back to Italy and try it over again. Come give them a try, all right? And when you get done, you let me know what you think or not. Goodbye.